This video will present the OSISoft Meter Data Unification and Synchronization System, MDIS. The demonstration will illustrate the system being used from meter creation to billing. During this presentation, we will be switching between the SAP ERP system and the OSISoft MDIS. For the OSISoft MDIS, we will be using the interface designed for system synchronization and operational monitoring review. The first step in the process is to create the master data. We have created a data load program that will create the master data that includes customer, premise, installation, connection object, point of delivery, and the contract. This is usually executed by a marketing transaction for bulk data load into the SAP system. The program executes as a background process to create the data. Once this task is successful, take note of the installation because we will be using it in a later step. The second step in the process is the device creation. First, we will show the OSI Soft Utilities Gateway. This user interface is for system management and review of synchronization information. Using the AMI plugin for the Pi System Explorer, we see the device G21 is the last one in the system. We use the Utilities Gateway plugin to review the task queue for requests that have been received to date and see that there are none for the current day. We then return to SAP to create the device G22. We create the device as of February 8th. The UII must be assigned to the device. This is what is used in SAP to link the meter from SAP to the meter as represented in the head end system. The mapping between the two systems will be carried out by the OSI Soft Utilities Gateway. The AMI data is assigned where the AMS will map to a specific head-in system, and in our case we have created this device category to allow for a message text. The registers must be configured. The device is created on saving and the services are launched from SAP. Switching back to the Utilities Gateway, we now see these services have been created. One service request to create the device, a second service to create a notification from the Utilities Gateway to SAP that the device is created and located in the technical system, and a third to create the registers. First, we will see the new device is created and we can review the properties of the device. We can then look at each of the registers. We see that the registers have been mapped to a PI tag and that they have no POD assigned to them at this time. The second register is the one for the storage of the 15-minute interval data. Once again, we see that it will be mapped to a PI tag and it is for 15-minute interval with no POD assignment. The third step is to create the billing related information for the device. In this case we are using the installation number from the original master data.
The meter will be installed as of February 8th. The registers will be set up to match those on the device and also for the billing type. This transaction will create the service request for the POD and a request to do an initial read on the meter. Switching to the OSI Soft Utilities Gateway, we will see the new requests. Looking at the register on the meter, we will now see that the POD information has been assigned. In the task queue, we see the service request for the meter read and the meter reading results service that is created. The meter reading document has been created and we can look at the details of the message that are sent back to SAP for the starting read. The fourth step in the process will be to create a profile for the storage of information. We are creating a 15-minute interval profile for electricity that will store the results in the external MDES system. The external MDES will be used to do the time of use calculation. Once again, this will be valid since February 8th. The interval length, the unit of measure, and the decimal places are set for the profile. Once the profile is saved, it will be available for allocation. The profile must then be allocated to the device. The role is set to be MDIS stored in MDIS. If results are to be loaded into SAP, the role would have been set to stored in EDM. The data is set for February 8th and the device and assignment to register to is made. After saving this, we will then switch to the OSI Soft Utilities Gateway to see the new request to make the profile assignment. In the task queue, there is an assignment notification change service that will set the information about the profile. 
looking at the meter and the interval register, we can see that the profile has been assigned to the device register in the gateway. The fifth step is to create the order for billing read. The end date is set and the schedule date, and this is a request for an interim read. The profile request for the billing order will be executed. A batch process will be used to create the order. We see that the batch process has been successfully executed. And the Utilities Gateway will now see a service request for billing calculation. In this request, it is making a request to sum from a start date to an end date, including all of the days of the week. We switch to the Utilities Gateway to review the calculation request. Here we see the request for the calculation from the start date to the end date, including all the days of the week. The Utilities Gateway will be used to aggregate the results. The result of the aggregation will be sent back to SAP. We can see that the result for this aggregation is 792.70. The sixth step in the process will be to monitor the results as sent to SAP for billing. In the monitoring transaction, we select the installation display, the orders, and see an order for the MDIS with status of 03, which means that results have been attained. Using the AMI monitor, we can examine the results and see they match the 792.70 reported earlier. This result will then be used to create the customer bill. Thank you for your interest in OSIsoft MDIS. Further information is available at www dot osisoft dot com